Michael Bloomberg, the former two-term New York City mayor, all of a sudden he's saying publicly what has been rumored, I, I guess, for a while, that he's seriously thinking of running for president of the United States. Uh, if he ran as the third party independent, that would be a potentially huge deal. It would be a huge deal. I'm not sure we're there yet that he's sort of ready to launch a campaign, but he gave this interview to the FT. He clearly said he's watching the primary race on both sides very closely, what the candidates are saying, and he is distressed by the rhetoric. He, he just said it's distressingly banal, is how he described it. And he said it's an outrage and an insult to voters in this interview in the FT. So this is somebody who's had his eyes on the White House for many years, has never pulled the trigger. He thinks maybe this might be an opportunity to sort of come up the middle as an independent and do so. But you know Michael Bloomberg, Wolf. He is a data-driven guy. Unless his team can put together an electoral map that gets him to 270 electoral votes as an independent this late in the game, I don't think he would take the chance. I've spoken with some people who are close to him. They say he has to make a decision basically by early March, March 1st, around that time. Now, he's worth, according to Forbes magazine, $36.6 billion. Trump says he's worth $10 billion, so he's worth a lot more. He could spend a lot of money if, if he wants. I'm also, I, I originally thought, and correct me if, if I'm wrong, that he would only run if Bernie Sanders, let's say, got the Democratic nomination. He wouldn't run if Hillary Clinton got the Democratic nomination. But I'm not, now told he's irritated uh, with the fact that Hillary Clinton is not doing that well. He also doesn't like her position opposing charter schools right now. Right. I don't know if just that issue alone would be enough to get Michael Bloomberg into the race, but I certainly think that seeing Hillary Clinton eke out a victory in Iowa, you know, be behind in New Hampshire, we'll see what happens there tomorrow night, does not make her sort of a, a position of strength right now, of unbridled strength in the Democratic race. So seeing potential weakness there, I'm sure, is also what is attractive to Michael it Bloomberg. It certainly is. I'm sure you're right. All right, we'll see what Michael Bloomberg decides.